gauge for oil pressure. So I gotta keep an eye on that. So it's right there. Because I can't see the gauges up top. That's the uh, steering wheel's in the way. And I need to get a good view. I know I got gas, so that's cool. I ain't got no gas in it. Alright, we'll see. What the fuck is someone whistling at me? Fucking whistle at me. I, I think. I don't think people should whistle at one another unless they fucking know each other. I think that shit, I find it disrespectful to be honest with you. Especially when someone's whistling to tell you what's something to do. Like, unless it's like for good intention, not like trying to tell them something, you know? Maybe I'm overthinking, I don't fucking know, but. Oh, let me pull over here. I gotta set up, uh, give me a sec guys. I'm gonna put another camera up here. Up over here. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. All right, let's get the fuck going then. So we're gonna fucking almost stall on the way out. The video I wanna talk about today is uh, a lot of things that people say about the ZL1 that is very subjective and regarding on whether or not this car can be daily driven, okay? Um, do I believe this car can be daily driven? Yes, I do fucking doing it right now not that bad there is a good amount of uh, stiffness to, a lot of stiffness in the suspension I mean but honestly uh, maybe people make it seem like it's that it's terrible like it'll fuck you up or something like it's gonna give you back problems or scoliosis or something it's not that bad dude people love to exaggerate that's the main thing I want to get out the way. Look, if you have, if you do have serious back problems, then yeah, I, I mean, I don't even think you'd be shopping for a ZL1 or a sports car in general. I think there are other factors you have to consider when trying to drive this car as a daily. You have to consider gas mileage. Duh. I, I, I had to bring that up because are you able to um, offset the price or the cost of what it would cost if you were to get a car that's like a Honda with fuel efficiency, my forerunner's my other vehicle. I get fucking 50, 14 miles a gallon on a good day. On a good day. Okay, this car, I actually get, I can get more if I wanted to. So if I really tried to, to um, save gas on the forerunner, I'm probably gonna get 16, if that. And I'm talking flatland put it in neutral, I'm downhills, like shit like that, you know? Which I don't recommend. Times are tough though, so I pop it in neutral sometimes. This car, I get 20 if I really wanted to, 20. Which I think is good. I've never had cars that get a lot of gas mileage. I used to drive to LA and back while I live out in the Inland Empire. So I used to work in Los Angeles and I, my commute, my biggest commute at one point was like 60 miles one way. And um, I gotta say, man, like, it's it sucks when you have a nice car and you have to drive that much because you're putting like stupid unnecessary wear and tear on your vehicle because traffic is a waste of time you're not going to enjoy the car you're just trying to get home you, and and to me like that's one thing you have to consider if you have a very long commute to work i wouldn't get it you know um i would probably stay with the hybrid or something or uh, or maybe drive it a couple times a week or once a week, not not fully like commit to it. Um, you just it's, it'll just eat up your cost, and that's how people get tired of the car because they're not able to fully drive it. Like they're they're driving it even when they don't want to. Because believe it or not, some days you don't want to drive a car like this. You kind of want to chill. But um, and and imagine you wanting to have like a nice quiet car, but you have to drive this car at 4 a.m. every day. It, it's gonna take its toll on you, and you're gonna have to. You, it, that's how people end up selling their car and then regretting it later because the days that they do want to drive the car, they don't have it anymore. Uh, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop here. All right. It's always awkward when you have a big ass camera in front of your face. And they're parked in front of a store. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'm trying to get used to it. So, I'm going to have to try to remember what the fuck I was just saying. Um, I believe what I was saying was that there are... 
different. What the fuck? Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was I talking about? Damn, bro. I do not know what I was talking about. I, I know I was talking about, like, cars and blah, 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 whatever. But, like, exactly what? I like to rant. I don't really... I, everything's kind of off the off the dome, you know? I don't I don't really uh, plan. Oh, oh, yes, 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 yes. I remember. It's because after a while, people sell it because of that. So, uh, because they are driving it solely for, like, necessity as opposed to enjoyment. Um, so you got to think about things like that. If you, if you know this car, I believe it's it's a good daily if you have a shorter commute. If you have a long commute, man, I wouldn't do it. I, I would rather much have it to where I can drive it if I want. Not I need to drive this shit every day um, because it just makes your life better. You're able to save gas. Why? Why? You know why have why get 10 12 miles a gallon in traffic when you can get you know 30 if you buy a little junker you know what i mean unless you got money if you got money go for it but it's at at, there's a part where money matters but then there's a part where it doesn't because wear and tear you're not going to be you're going to get rock chips you're going to get your car is just going to age because it's it's traveling more in the sun right it's not going to um you know the seats are gonna get torn up if if you get uh if you have a job where it's kind of you know blue collar people where you you have uniforms that are can, might get dirty and you don't know if if you might leave work clean or dirty you know that's like things you got to consider um but if you're okay with that you know that has nothing to do with financials that's solely just preference i like bumpy rides because that's a sports car stiff suspension it's known for that right like it, uh, it's it's nothing it, it's like you can't buy a sports car and be like, oh, shit, who would have thought it drives like a sports car, right? You, you just got to know that's what it does. Well, do you have parking at work where you, it's, it's going to be secure? Oh, shit. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Give me a second. I had to pass a couple people. Um, are you able to... Uh, yeah, are you able to 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 drive it and park it somewhere secure, or do you work at a a place where you had to park it in a public parking lot? That's that's also a big cause of concern. Camaro thefts are up right now. It's not you're not gonna have the sense of security as if you were driving like a you know a junker, right? If you were driving like a Honda. Be like whatever dude i got insurance if it gets stolen it gets stolen but this car you want to keep it and there's not many like it anymore it's not like these are these are getting harder and harder to to find and replace every day so it's not like you can replace this car if it gets stolen and if you truly care about it you obviously wouldn't want that to happen so um that's that's something you got to take into consideration when you're buying this car if you're choosing to drive a flashy car there are a lot of pieces of shit in this world that will steal if they can now do you want to expose yourself to that a lot of things to consider there a lot of things so i'm way too fucking close to the you know a good way to measure how close you should be to the steering wheel is to put your hand over the steering wheel at full extension resting normal position of, of where your seat is at and if your wrist or your pretty much your hand should barely go past the steering wheel like the i guess the base of your wrist should be sitting on the steering wheel that's how you're at a normal seating position so i don't know if you can see the heads up display but it has a speed limit up there which is cool this comes on the, the zl1s with uh the navigation option if you don't have the navigation option that will not pop up if you don't like it go somewhere else park rangers up ahead so i gotta calm the fuck down so right now i'm on my way to take a couple pictures 
of this beautiful car with this camera. You know, I never thought I'd be that asshole that has like four different cameras, but I think it, you understand over time why it's necessary, man. There's no one, one can do it all thing, you know? This Sony A7C, as, as much as people want to brag about how good iPhones take pictures and Androids, it doesn't, it doesn't compare to like actual cameras. Um, it just, quality's different, quality's different. Also, that camera there, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which was a motherfucker to get because everybody wants one. I had to meet some dude at a gas station like in the middle of the night to buy it for, for like a markup too. It's like when I bought the PlayStation 4, or is it 4? What, what are we on? 5, 5. <laughs> Dude, my bad. PS5, I, I bought it for $900 because I got it, like, you know, I don't know if you know, but, and it was hard to get at, at, at first because all the fucking resellers, do. They, they would hop on and sell out. So I had to go get one. I don't regret it, though. Well, actually, I kind of do because if you, when you first bought a PS5, there were no fucking games out. It is... There's Spider-Man, bro. I think that was, like, one of the only ones, like, NBA 2K, but, like, barely remastered. This GoPro, I mean, it's super durable. It'll last forever. It's not the best quality, but it's reliable. And that's what you want with something like this. You know, you want to have something that'll last. Um, these are, like, the forerunners of, like, the fucking camera world. I, I mean, I'm speaking as an amateur, so maybe... Maybe it's not, I don't know, but whatever. I do a lot of, I only use this camera, I noticed that I only use it in the um, in the car. I wanna just get used to using it outside and I mean, that, man, they don't talk about the balls it kinda takes to do this shit, bro. You feel like an idiot for some reason when you have this, but I think that's just the mind thing, right? Uh, it's, I mean, but look at this car, bro. Oh my God, you tell me. This shit don't look good right now. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and um, get this camera shit going, so stay tuned.